I just built a complete copy of a successful app from the App Store using nothing but AI. And I didn't write a single line of code. Look, most people think you need years of programming experience or a huge budget to build profitable apps. They think you need to hire developers, learn complex coding languages, or spend months figuring out app development. But here's what 99% of people don't know. There's actually one AI tool that can build entire apps for you in minutes. And I'm about to prove it by showing you exactly how I recreated the successful coin identification app that's generating thousands of dollars in revenue every month. In this video, Video. I'm going to walk you through my exact step-by-step -step process for copying profitable apps using AI, how I also connected payment systems to monetize instantly, and the specific AI tool that made all this possible. So by the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to start building your own apps today. And here's the crazy part. I've been testing app development methods for over three years, and this is hands down the fastest and most effective approach I've ever discovered. So if you ever want to build apps, but thought it was too complicated or expensive. This video will completely change your perspective. Let's dive in. The AI tool that we're going to use is Replit. And with my code Celine, you'll get a 10% discount and full access to the Replit agent. I added the link in the description below. Important disclaimer though, building apps and making money online isn't easy, despite what other YouTubers are saying. So when I show you how to build an app, I'm demonstrating the technical process and potential, not guaranteeing your results. These AI tools are are legit and the techniques really do work, but success depends on your execution, timing, and honestly, some luck. So most apps don't make money immediately and many don't make money at all. So I'm not promising that you'll get rich or need to quit your job. This isn't financial advice or a get rich quick scheme. I'm just showing you what's possible with these tools. What you do with the knowledge though is entirely up to you. All right, expectations set. Let's continue building the app. So before we dive into any advanced features, we need a solid structure to build on. We're not diving into all the technical features just yet, but right now the goal is to give Replit a clear picture of what we want the structure to look like. We want a clean layout with all the essential tabs, plus the ability to scan coins and display basic information. Let's tell the AI, hi there. Let's create an awesome coin collector app. Let's first fill the app's base or the design. Let's create a simple app that can scan coins and then show info about the specific coin. Also, create tabs for a user profile, a communities tab, a my collection tab, and the main home or scanner tab. Then Replit starts building right away. And after that, the foundation is ready. The layout looks clean and includes exactly what we asked for. A scanner homepage, a collections tab, a communities tab, and a profile tab. And right now we're working with placeholder data. Just mock content for now, but it's enough to start visualizing how everything fits together. One thing that stands out though is that the coin categories seem heavily centered around US coins. That's going to need adjusting later on so the app can support a more global collection. But for now, we've got a strong base to build on. Just like what I mentioned, the app is clearly built with US coin collectors in mind. If we want this to appeal to a broader audience, this needs to change. So we're going to make the app more inclusive by expanding the categories beyond just the US dollar. Here's what I'm gonna tell the AI. Okay, great job so far, but please change the collection convention. We're going to make this app global. It shouldn't be just restricted to the US dollar. So add more general categories. Replit updates the app with more globally relevant filters and collection categories. The layout still feels familiar, but the coin types and filters are no longer US-centric. The app finally reflects a more international approach to collecting, which is exactly what we need moving forward. Before jumping into new features, we need to make sure users can actually sign in and have their own space inside the app. Right now, there's no login system, which means no safe preferences, no personalized profiles, and no secure sessions. So our next step is to add proper login functionality using Replit. And here's what I'm going to send in. Great job! Job so far. Now let's add backend integration. Have the users be able to log into the app and customize their profile. Replit processes that and sets up the backend with session management and login support. Now we can test it right away from the home screen. Clicking sign in brings up Replit's built-in authorization system and after confirming access, 
we are successfully logged in and redirected back inside the app. Everything's working smoothly. The login is active, sessions are tracked, and we're ready to move forward with features that rely on user accounts. Social features are what turns a tool into a community. And for collectors, that sense of connection can make all the difference. So before we move on to scanning and database functionality, we're shifting focus to the community side of the app, a space where users can share photos, talk about rare finds, and be part of niche collector groups. I'm going to drop this into Replit. Great job! Now before we focus on the coin scanning and the database, let's first focus on the communities aspect. Adjust the communities tab. The user should be able to open or select a community and view its content, posts, and photos. Please create the dedicated communities page that serves as the base for every community created. And after sending that in, the Communities tab has a noticeable upgrade. The placeholder communities are now up and running. We can open them directly from the Communities tab and browse through each one. It's a basic step for now, but the structure is there and we'll start expanding the functionality in the next step. So building a sense of community isn't just about reading posts. It's about giving users the tools to participate. Now we are going to expand the functionality so users can join and leave communities, also create their own and interact with posts through comments and reactions. Let's tell the AI, great job, now give the user functionality to join a community of their choosing, the ability to leave, and the ability to create their own community from the Communities tab. Also, show the comment bar in the posts. Give the user the ability to comment and like or heart the posts. With that prompt, the community feature really opens up. The users can now browse existing communities and choose which ones to join or leave. There's also a new option to create a custom group directly from the Communities tab, complete with name and description. Now we're getting ready to build the actual coin scanning and database features. But first, we need to connect the app to the AI that's going to power everything. So for this build, we're going to use Google Gemini as our main engine. And to get things running, we need to grab the API key. So to do that, we'll head over to Google Gemini, sign in and create a new API key. After it's generated, we'll copy the key and keep it ready for the next step or we'll plug it into the app. This key will act as the bridge between our app and Gemini's AI capabilities. So getting this set up is an important step before we move forward. With the API key ready, our next step is wiring it into the app so we can start using Gemini for coin scanning. And this is where we link everything together, the front end, the back end, and the AI that will actually analyze the coins and return useful data. So here's what I'm going to send in. Great job so far. Now please integrate Google Gemini for our coin scanner. Let's use Gemini to scan the coins and return the data about the coins we scanned. Please create an environment variable for this. Here's the API key. After the prompt goes through and the key is added, the integration is complete. Gemini is fully connected now to the app and ready to power the scanning feature. From here, we'll move on to building the upload functionality so we can test how well it performs. Now that Gemini is integrated, it's time to give the app a way to actually receive coin images. We need a simple upload feature so users can submit photos and Gemini can do its job, which is scanning and identifying what's in the image. This is what I'm sending to Replit. Great job! Now please build the upload functionality. It should be able to upload the coins for Gemini to assist. And after that, the upload feature is up and ready. We can now select and submit coin images directly through the app and Gemini responds by analyzing the photo and returning the correct coin data. Everything shows up in the interface. In this case, the identified coin appears in the lower right section after scanning. But there's one thing missing. The coin isn't showing up in our collections tab. That's what we're fixing next. Right now, we can upload and analyze a coin, but unless we fix this, the app will not keep track of what was scanned. We'll ask it to update the logic so that once a coin is scanned, it gets added directly to the collections tab with all its details intact. After sending that in, the app updates to automatically send scanned coins straight to the collections tab. Now, whenever 
whenever a coin is uploaded, like the 1933 rare coin in this test. It shows up right where it should, saved with the rest of the collection and ready to view anytime. Identifying a coin is a great start, but collectors usually want more than just a name. They want the story behind it, the materials, the value, and what makes it so special. So now we're going to expand the data Gemini gives us and make sure that each coin in the collection reveals much more when clicked. Here's what I'm going to tell Replit. Great job so far. But now let's add more info to the coins that we scan. Please allow the user to open or click the coins they have. And once opened, it should show details such as country of origin, denomination, or face value, year minted, metal composition, historical context, current market value or estimate, and rarity assessment. The app now displays expanded details for each scanned coin, giving users a clearer picture of what's in their collection. It goes beyond just identification. Now, there's real context behind each item. Here you can see that after uploading a photo, the coin gets added to the collection as usual. Expand a little. But this time, clicking on it reveals more country of origin, year minted, denomination, and other key info all neatly displayed. But a collection feature isn't complete without a way to clean things up. We need to make sure that there's a way to remove saved items, may it be a coin added by mistake, or the user just wants to start fresh. Right now, there's no delete option, so that's what we're going to add next. Here's what I'm going to send in. Great job so far. Now please add the ability to delete coins from our collection. We can notice here that the interface gets a small but a very important upgrade. A new delete button now shows up on saved coins tucked into the top right corner. Clicking it instantly removes that coin from the collection. It's a simple addition, but it makes managing the collection feel more natural and under control. Now I'm thinking of adding premium access, but before any of that can work, the app needs to be properly connected to Stripe. That starts with grabbing the two keys required for integration, the publishable key and the secret key, which will allow the app to handle secure payments behind the scenes. We'll head over to the Stripe dashboard where we can copy the publishable key and the secret key. These will be passed into Replit shortly and they'll serve as the credentials that let our app handle payments securely behind the scenes. Adding a paid tier is the next big step. And with our Stripe keys ready, we can finally build out the premium subscription system. This will give users a smooth way to upgrade directly from inside the app. Let's tell Replit, great job so far. Now please create a premium subscription page with details about the premium upgrade. Use Stripe for this. We'll be charging $4.99 per month. After dropping in the API key from Stripe, it's now fully set up and the monthly subscription plan is live. Users can go through the payment flow and unlock premium access for $4.99 per month. Here you can see that if I go to the profile section, it reveals a new subscribe to premium tab. Let's run a test checkout. Right after that, the payment goes through successfully and the app reflects the premium status right away. Now everything is connected and ready. Now we just need to address session tracking. So the app knows who's already subscribed and updates the interface accordingly. Like what I mentioned earlier, the app isn't recognizing when a user has already upgraded. The upgrade to premium button keeps showing up even after a successful payment. So to make the experience feel seamless, we need to make sure that the subscription status is stored correctly in the session. Here's what I'm going to send it. Great job. Now make sure to store the session data that the user has subscribed to premium. Right now, we're supposed to be subscribed, but the upgrade to premium button is still there. After the fix is applied, the session logic works as expected. After a user completes the payment, the app now recognizes their premium status and removes the upgrade button entirely. A good collection feature doesn't just store items. It helps users keep things organized in a way that's personal and useful. And right now our collection tab is functional, but it's still pretty basic. So our next step is to expand it with better tracking tools, note taking, and more ways to organize coins. So let's tell Replit, now please expand the collections tab. Let's give the user more options to organize their coins. Please give them the ability to add custom notes to the specific coins, give more organization options, and of course, some tracking features. And right off the bat, the collection section feels much more advanced. 
Users can now add custom notes to individual coins, tag them with labels, assign them to specific categories, and track key details like value. It turns a simple list into a full-featured coin management tool, one that's flexible enough for both casual users and serious collectors. All right, this is the part where everything comes together. We're now going to take a look at how each feature works inside the app. From logging in, scanning coins, managing collections, all the way to community interaction and premium access. And everything's been built step by step, and now it's time to see it all in action. I'll start by logging into the app and checking out the overall layout. So everything looks clean so far, and the tabs are all working smoothly. So from there, let's head over to the profile section and subscribe to Premium. The transaction goes through without any issues, and the app instantly updates to show that the account is now on Premium. Next, I'm going to test out the scanning feature. So let's upload a coin and it gets recognized correctly with all the expected details. After that, I'll open the collections tab to view the scan coin, add some notes, tags, and a value, then create a new custom category and drop the coin in it. To show that the delete function works, I'll try to remove the coin right after. Lastly, let's go to the communities tab create a new group, and make sure everything works. Then I'll join an existing one and leave a comment to test interaction. The entire experience runs seamlessly with each feature working properly. So there you have it, a fully working revenue-ready app built from scratch using nothing but AI. From login to coin scanning, premium subscriptions to community features, everything runs smoothly without a single line of code. If this walkthrough opened your eyes to what's possible, that's because the intro wasn't just hype. You really can build complete profitable apps using just one AI tool. And if you're ready to try it yourself, grab that replit link in the description and don't forget to use the code Celine for 10% off and full access to the replit agent. Hit like if this helped you out, drop a comment if you're planning your own build, and subscribe if you want to see more apps made entirely with AI. See you in the next one.